Hey everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from Strawberry Lime Designs and it was the Periwinkle Blooms and I really love the colours and all of the floral patterns. So this week I'm going to start with the date covers and I'm going to pop them all the way along the top. It feels so nice to be back this week as last week I was ill, I had a cold and then a sinus infection plus my partner was away in New York on a business trip all week so it was not the most ideal time to be poorly. So as there's purple on my pages in the Happy Planner I just wanted to pull some of the purple in as there wasn't any purple in the kit and I have got this really pretty washi which is from Hobbycraft and it's got the holographic diamonds on, it's so pretty. So I just decided to use that along the bottom. And that way any purple that was kind of showing on my planner pages it would kind of blend in because I've got purple down at the bottom in the washi. Once I've got that down I'm just going to go in day by day. So first thing is obviously I want to upload this plan with me so I use some of the thick washi strips and just lay it on an upload script sticker which is from my shop and a planner sticker which is from playing with roses my daughter has got a sleepover so I just marked that down on a half box and I used two of the PJ poppets. Then I decided to use the washi in the middle of my planner again. I've done this before, I've done it a few weeks ago, and I just really like how it looks and turns out. And it also means that I don't actually have to use any full boxes. So this is a really good tip to um, try out if you don't have any full boxes or you're more of a kind of a functional planner where you like to use lots of little stickers, then definitely use the washi in the middle because it will fill up your planner nicely. Especially this week as I'm really busy but I haven't got many plans to put in my planner, it's just plans that are going to take a long time to do things. So that's why I wanted to kind of spread it out and use more of a functional kind of look this week. I put a half box down and a little Puppet Squad sticker as I'm going to be announcing my PR team finally i was so overwhelmed with how many of you applied to be part of the poppet squad and it just took me a lot longer than i anticipated to go through everyone because i wanted to like go through each one i didn't want to randomly pick three so they will be announced i think they will be announced obviously by the time this goes up because i'm going to be doing that now i have already chosen them i just need to like let them know that they have made the poppet squad for Tuesday I put down the really thin strips of washi and a half box that I flipped up onto the side as my son has got his induction day at his new school and I just wrote that down and at the bottom there I put a little motivational poppet that says you got this. Underneath there I've got a food shop to do so I just put that down on an appointment label and a food shop pop it and then I want to pack orders for the PR team so I just put that on another quarter box and then I just put down my to buy section as I need to buy some bits for my son's birthday which is later in the week. For Wednesday I want to dispatch some orders so I used another thick piece of washi and just put a gold dispatch order which is from JD's Crafts. I also want to design first and while I'm out posting orders I want to treat myself and buy a nice coffee that I can drink while I'm designing. I've got some happy mail due and I just used one of the large happy poppets just to mark that down because happy mail obviously makes me happy. Underneath there I wanted to put a to clean list so I just used a to clean header and a small checklist that I can just fill out. Flipping over to Thursday I just put the washi down in the middle to match the other side and it's my bin collection day so I used one of the bin icons from Handmade Hayward which I do switch out in a little while because I didn't realise there was a bin icon in this kit so um, I just put a piece of washi down, put the bin icon down and wrote black bins. I also need to make sure I send some emails so I just use a little icon with the computer screen and I want to wrap my son's presents and here I'm just switching out the icons because I like all my icons to kind of match so I like using them from the kit if I can. Uh, 
I then created a little work section with a work header and a checklist and I'm also running really low on full kits so I wanted to have a little Etsy spree and buy some kits or maybe find some free printables. I feel like I haven't done a free printable for a while. I was going to do one last week, that was my intention, but obviously before I became ill I was going to find a free printable New York themed kit as my partner's going to New York. I may do a rewind spread on that, I may not, but yeah I feel like I haven't used a free printable kit for a long time. So Friday is my new release day so I just put that down onto a half box. I also want to film and it is my son's birthday, it's my youngest son's birthday. And in my house when it's your birthday you get to choose whatever you want to have for dinner you get to have it on your birthday so sometimes they're like sensible and we have normal food and other times it will be um i don't know like pancakes and milkshakes but you know it's her birthday and one day out of the whole entire year we can definitely eat a mix match of foods for one day so that's just something that we've always done in our house ever since they were little when it's your birthday you get to choose whatever you want to have for dinner and for the weekend I put the weekend banner down and we don't actually have any plans for this weekend we're just going to take it kind of slow and have a lazy weekend as my partner is back so I just put two half boxes down at the top so if we do do anything then I will just mark it down I wanted to create a checklist like I normally do for things to go back to school and I just covered up those two purple lines with some washi and obviously I'm going to want to edit next week's plan with me so I just put that down on a half box with a script sticker from my shop and a little icon from Rose Colour Days so I didn't want to use a full box and just use one out of the whole entire sheet so I just used some of the patterned washi to create like a full box just to cover the calendar. I pulled in some more of the diamond washi by covering up the note section. And then I created my next week section using a thick piece of patterned washi and a checklist. Underneath there I put down my habit tracker which I usually use for Instagram. And then to fill up the space at the bottom I used some more of the patterned washi and then a half box at the bottom. Obviously this kit doesn't come with any deco but you know me I can literally make any sticker into a deco sticker so I just use one of the planner icons and the planner that come with the kit and just use that as deco. So here's everything I've got left after doing the spread. Like I say, the weekend looks a tad bare, but it will fill up, hopefully, as we go through the week, if we decide to do anything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me this week. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and leave me a comment down below if you've got any special plans this weekend. And I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.